This should be set up by your system administrator, but may be worth checking before attempting to do any recording using the built-in recorder. There's a setting to choose your audio input for the Seg Editor recorder and also your main recording audio device. You can find it under Settings, Media Engine Settings. If you change this, you are going to need to restart Myriad 5 Playout for it to take action. I'm going to drag our demo song down to a player as we're going to record just a little bit of that. Highlight an empty media item and right click and choose Record. This puts the recorder into an armed state as it will be listening for any audio level in order to start recording. Once you have recorded what you need, go back to the recorder and left click on the eject icon. You'll then be asked if you want to save your recording. If you click on no, the recording will be removed from the media wall and you can start the process again. Clicking yes titles the media item with the date and time it was recorded with the name of the user on the second line and the machine that was used on the third or the description line. It will also auto extra the file as set in the database settings. Now the reason the recorder didn't start recording the instant we chose record in the right click menu was because of the personal preferences for the logged in user. Under the playback slash recording tab it is set to use the level trigger when recording using the recorders. It is set to 10% threshold to start recording so you can always tweak this if you find the start of your recording is being missed for example. We're also going to look at the directory settings for the user and find out their personal media range as when you click directly on the recorder this is the range that it will choose to record into. We have 4001 to 5999 for this user. This time I am clicking directly on the recorder and it has auto assigned media item 4017 and it is waiting for some audio. I'm going to force it to start recording by clicking on the round record icon within the recorder. The recorder goes red and the counter starts ticking up. When you've finished, again click on the eject icon and choose whether to save or not. When you click on yes, Myriad 5 Playout will automatically jump to the newly recorded piece of audio on the media wall. If you want to re-record the clip, again right click and choose yes to overwrite the existing media item. You can use record from the ribbon toolbar as well. This time I'm going to use my voice to record. If I use my microphone to trigger the recording, the recording will begin. <laughs> 